Hey up me odes, the, uh, the Craft Beer Basic here, coming at you with another beer review. Uh, it's been a mental day in Nottingham today for a Tuesday. It's been sunny one minute, it's been snowing like a bastard the next. That must have happened about four or five times over the course of the day. I mean, lucky I was working in a dark cellar all day, so I missed most of it. But yeah, mental, absolutely mental. Turns out that global warming thing is actually real. Um, well, here we are, we're in the... Uh, we're in the room, living room, that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, we're in the living room. Got the, uh, the old, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Already, already gone to bollocks. This has already gone to bollocks. There's a sewing machine. There's a bloody sewing machine there. I know Joe Public likes the sewing machine. But it's a Tuesday, so we're, in, we're going down a, uh, a new route on Tuesday. We are going with Tipper Tuesday. So every Tuesday we're going to be having a triple IPA. Maybe several triple IPAs, but probably just one. And I'm going with one I've never had before. I am super excited to be trying. I've had it for a few weeks, so, because I heard a few people talk about hot burn, this, that, and the other, so I've sounded it for a few weeks. And it is from a, a collaboration between um, Cloudwater in um, Manchester and The Vale from Richmond, Virginia. It is Chubbles Enhanced. So this is a 10% triple IPA hopped with Galaxy, Citra, Nelson, and El Dorado. Um, the first ever triple IPA that I had that I loved was the original run of Chubbles. Um, the first ever IPA, triple IPA I ever had was um, Skull King from um, Beaver Town, and I thought it was absolutely terrible. Um, that's not a diss on Beaver Town. They, that will probably come later. I probably will get drunk one day and slag them off. But... Um, I just remember trying it, and this was before I really actually enjoyed beer, and I thought it was absolutely dreadful. Uh, so for ages I thought, oh, Triple IPAs, I'm not going to drink one of them. Uh, then uh, the first batch of Chubbles came out, and I was hooked. And since then, I've bought Chubbles every single year. Um, this year, they released quite a few variations of it, and I missed out on all of them, apart from uh, Chubbles Enhanced. I thought I was going to miss out on regular Chubbles until my hero, Matt at Brew Cavern, um, came through with, um, he managed to get some cans. So um, I've got that, that'll probably be next week, if I can be honest with you, that'll probably be next week, give that another week in the can. Not gonna really do it any damage, all in the fridge, don't worry about it, don't you worry about it. So without further ado, uh, let's uh, let's go crack this open and uh, see what the fuss is all about, eh? Look at the colour on that. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am loving this glass from Liquid Light. So, uh, big shout out to Roy, who works at uh, Neon Raptor. He bought me this glass as a Christmas present, which is very, very nice of him. So I look at the phone, look at the color on that. Shit me. There we go. Beautiful thick head. Uh, rock and roll, do the rock and roll head thing. Uh, There's pineapple, there's pine, there's peach. Peach is definitely the uh, the standout smell on that. But yeah, let's just, let's go in there. Let's have a, let's have a sip of this Bronson. Now that is some top tier triple IPA. That's fantastic. There's, oh. Sewing machine there, I know you all like the sewing machine. Um, it's got pineapple, but um, roasted pineapple, almost caramelized pineapple. That, um, oh. Caramelized pineapple, there's peach. It, it definitely peaches the coming through at the very end. It almost tastes, this almost tastes like it's got Sabro in it. It almost has, which they did last year with Subbles, which is one of them. It almost has that, it almost has the, a minty type taste to it, which is just there, but then disappears. Um, apricot jam. 
oh, fresh pineapple juice. Like, there's a little bit of a, it's got like a little, little bit of a weed going on there for those who like their uh, their dank beers. That is mental. That is fantastic. Um, I was unfortunately like there were, I think there was about five different versions of um, Chubbles this year. This is one of the only two that I managed to get. Um, but from what I have heard, this the enhanced has been the favourite of a lot of people. It's definitely the uh, the El Dorado and the uh, the Nelson hops are the the standouts in this one. There's, you definitely know you're drinking a Citra beer, but this is definitely the uh, the standout. Um, yeah, so triple IPA Tuesdays, that's going to be a thing. Um, I'll probably make something else rhyme, you know, like Suds Saturday where I drink a beer I bought from Suds and Soda or um, or something good, you know. I mean, I might, I'll, I'll come up with a better one than that. Well, the Suds Soda works. It can be a, a lager Suds that I bought from Suds and Soda. So that's a triple whammy there. Yeah, that works. I like that one. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what. This has been, I think this has been the least shit one of them all. I think I've got the right angle. Um, the sewing machine gets more screen time than me. I'm happy about this one. Yeah, yeah thank you very much indeed. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give me a, uh, a little like and a subscribe. Uh, maybe leave a little comment, you know. Um, maybe give it a little share. I don't know. It's up to you. It's up to you. I don't mind. But yeah, oh, thank you very much indeed. I'll link up to Cloudwater. This is, I think this is long since sold out now, so. Yeah, because that's what I like to do is like tell you about beers that you can't get anymore. So um, yeah, so we'll uh, I'll link up to Cloudwater anyway. I'll put a link up to the Veil. Vale. I'll put a link up to uh, Suds and Soda because they've just got some uh, cracking beers from other half in, which I'll probably be drinking tomorrow. Uh, yeah, well, thank you for watching. Uh, have yourself a lovely night. Triple IPA Tuesday and uh, sewing machine. Lovely stuff. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah, in a bit.